Hello, good morning, my friends on YouTube. I hope you're enjoying my uh, videos of the deserts on YouTube. So anyway, it's uh, Wednesday. Uh, I'm just done with my uh, practice at the driving range. It's free. You know, I'm, I'm supposed to pay twenty dollars in here, but uh, nobody's checking. And plus, the the uh, what do you call it? The one that manages the uh, driving range is uh, a friend of mine, so it's free. He doesn't uh, he doesn't uh, care if I pay or not. I just want to give him a tip, though. So. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm heading home. We're gonna go to lunch today. Uh, you know what? That's what usually That's what I usually do with Bob. Bob is uh, retired. Uh, he's staying home most of the time. He's gonna be 88 years old next year. Oh, I mean next week. April 28th. And, and I'm kind of excited. I'm, I already made a reservation at the uh, Spencer's for uh, lunch though. We don't want dinner because it's it's almost uh, you know like very expensive plus a lot of food so uh, we're gonna just go at a lunch time like late lunch um, I don't know if it's gonna be on Sunday or you know on the weekend we're gonna celebrate it on the weekend because they have a piano player on the weekend Sunday brunch at the Spencer's so I think probably. Uh, we're gonna go there on Sunday, but I made a reservation on the day of his his uh, birthday, so I can't wait for that. So right now, as you can see, I don't have a mask. I'm by myself in my car, but I still have this the uh, sanitizer. I sanitize before and before and after uh, entering my uh, my car. I don't know. I'm still scared. We have a total of 10 coronary, 10 coronary virus, COVID-19 in our hospital. Three in the ICU. So the pandemic is not over yet, guys. I know, you know, this screw, this fuck up media is already saying that, oh, it's going to be better now. But you know what? A nurse perspective or medical uh, professionals, it's not over yet. You know, screw the fucking media. They don't know what they're talking about. I'm still scared of COVID-19. I don't want to experience that again. You know? What we're doing is helping us. We just have to slowly uh, go into our normal routine. But it's, it's not going to be normal anymore. This, this virus is going to be with us for a long long time like the flu at least we we have the vaccine to help help us uh, or to protect us from getting sick like uh, worse so you don't have to end up in the ICU uh, you're gonna still you're still gonna get the uh, coronavirus but it's very mild symptoms like when you have the flu shot uh, it helps you not get worse you know when you have the vaccine same thing with the coronavirus it's bullshit what the uh, fucking media is talking about that oh we already immune if you get a vaccine fuck it it's not we're not gonna be immune on this uh, virus it's virus there's no uh, complete immunity and virus they always mutate what the fuck you know what they should stop saying things like that in the media they, they don't know what they're talking about they they just read whatever they uh, the director feeds them to read. So fuck that media. Fuck the left left wing media. They should not be saying those things. You know what? I have the vaccine. I'm still scared. I don't want to. I don't want to get it. I don't want to experience it. It's very bad. I've seen so many deaths on uh, on uh, Corona COVID nineteen. So it's up to you. You know, if you don't want to follow the uh, guidelines that protected us for a year, then fuck it. You know, you don't have to. This is fucking America. So, uh, do do as you please. For me, I'm still going to protect myself, even at work. 
I still wear my shield, my headgear, and my N95 mask. Even though they're saying that, oh, you know, some of my coworkers said, oh, I'm not scared anymore. I said, I'm scared because they have not experienced uh, uh, what what a lot of the COVID-19 patients experience. It's really bad. So the fucking media is saying that, oh, it's it, life is better now that we have the vaccine. It's not. That's very responsible. Fuck the left-wing media that is uh, fucking mostly democratic, uh, stupid shit. You know? They don't know what they're talking about. That's why our life is in, uh, in jeopardy because of the fucking Democrats. Fucking left wing. So anyway, I'm heading home. So uh, we, I'm gonna go and pick up Bob. It's now 11, almost 12 o'clock. I'm gonna pick him up and we're gonna go to uh, Dan and Sweet Sue's. You know, when we first moved here in the valley in 1998, that's one of the first restaurants that we uh, we went to. Uh, Dine and Sweet Sauce. They have good, good comfort food. Very inexpensive. Uh, and then the other one that we we went to is uh, Elmer's. Another one that I like. And then of course Dennis. Dennis, but I don't like Dennis as much as I do. It's getting more expensive. And then what's the other one? Oh, Spencer's. Spencer's and Billy Wee. Those are my favorite restaurants in the valley. You know, we, we are going to Spencer's on Bob's birthday. We used to go to Shame on the Moon, but I don't know if they're open. I called them uh, for a reservation, but nobody's answering. Yeah, we love Shame on the Moon by uh, Rancho Mirage. It's very classy. And then the other one that we like is the, uh, if you like uh, is Italian food, the one in Palm Desert. They call it Castellis. Very, very nice. I like that. And they have good, 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 good uh, spaghetti uh, dinner. It's kind of expensive though, but it's, it's worth it. So uh, I'm heading home. What a beautiful day. Uh, but I'm working tonight, so that's kind of a, that's a bummer. <laughs> but it's okay. It's only one day. One day. And then off tomorrow again. And then uh, working the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. And then I will be on vacation for eight days after this coming Sunday. Yee! Can't wait for that. So. Uh, Heading home. Um, it's kind of crowded actually today. I don't know why. It's the middle of the week. A lot of cars on the road. I can't wait for May when uh, all the Canadians and those people that are afraid of the uh, summer. The 100 degree temperature, and then it's gonna be nice and quiet again in the valley. So uh, I can't wait for that. I cannot wait for that. Oh my! Look at that. Look at the one on the right side for me. They have the greenhouse for marijuana. They grow marijuana there in that building. Oh my God! Exclusive. This is Cathedral City, so they have uh, they're allowed to uh, grow marijuana here. But I don't know about Palm Springs. I've never seen a greenhouse that that uh, grows grows uh, uh, grows uh, marijuana. Yeah, it's, oops, oh my goodness, I am gonna go. There you go. Hopefully there's no uh, police. Oh my God. Yeah, 
there's no no police. So here I am. I am going to uh, I'm going to pick up Bob and have lunch. What a beautiful day this morning. It was cold, it was windy, but it, it's nice. Right now the current temperature is 80 degrees. That's going to be the highest today. 80, 81. So we'll see. This is the really normal temperature in, in April. And then in May, it's going to be 90 degrees, average temperature. And then July, average temperature is 100. And then after that, it's going to be 110 average temperature, like uh, August. It can go as high as 120. I love it when we have those heat, uh, the high temperature. It helps to uh, reduce the population in Palm Springs. Used to be like during pre-COVID, the uh, population in Palm Springs during the season, it triples, like, I think it's 40,000 uh, population, 40,000 is the population in Palm Springs, and then it, it triples the uh, triples the population uh, in, in the season, like, a, like 120, because there's so many people coming here, spend a few months here in the valley, because we have a very, very nice weather during the winter months but I like the winter the summer better than the winter I don't like cold weather anymore although I uh, live in Chicago for 28 years the day when I graduated, graduated nursing school Philippines um, that's in 1977 and then I came in here like a year after is it a year after? I think it's a year after. I was 22 years old when I came into the United States. Fresh graduate from, uh, from nursing school. And then I landed in Chicago. I, I didn't like it at first. The reason why I wa my choice was Australia and... Uh, Australia, uh, Saudi Arabia, and uh, Chicago. I applied on those three countries. Saudi Arabia, Australia and United States, Chicago. And then I, I waited and waited and uh, Chicago or my work visa, it's, it's a working visa, a year. And then if you pass the, uh, this is the, it's the procedure, you know, during those years. Like the, once, as long as you have a nursing license from the Philippines, you are allowed to practice nursing in the United States for a year, but then you have to pass the uh, nursing board, nursing board, NCLEX, and then they will. Once you pass the NCLEX, then you can apply for a permanent residency. You don't have to. You can, you can always uh, extend the working visa if you don't want to stay here. But my uh, main main goal was to come and live in the United States so I took advantage of the working visa that the United States offered during those years. Um, now the working visa, I don't think there's working visa anymore for nurses. Before you can come in here you have to uh, pass the uh, NCLEX in the Philippines. They offer NCLEX in the Philippines and then once you pass the board, board exam then you can apply for uh, immigrant status. It's, it's immigrant status right away. Then you can bring your own family, every, everybody. You can bring your kids, your husband, and your kids. <clears throat> Depending. 
in the situation. So, what is going on? Turn! What the fuck? Stupid! What the hell? It says left turn, yield and green only, so you don't have to wait for the fucking arrow. Stupid idiot uh, driver. Doesn't he know what's the turn and green? He's just waiting for the uh, green arrow, but it says there left turn, yield and green. So it's okay to turn and green. You don't have to wait for the green arrow. <laughs> Stupid. So anyway, I am heading home to pick up Bob. Uh, pick up Bob. Yeah. So we can go out for lunch. We haven't been there. They just opened last week. From Tuesday to Sunday. And then they're closed on Mondays. Mondays. Oh yeah, right. They close on Mondays. Uh, what a beautiful day today. stupid drivers they're in their fucking phone you know they don't pay attention to the traffic lights what the fuck stupid drivers and now he speeds up I hope it's only uh, 30 35 miles an hour and, and there's a lot of motorcycle police in here just to be 40 miles and then in here on the curve it's 35 this is, uh, I know the motorcycle, I know the policeman who, who rides a motorcycle. He parks in here, on the, on the street on the left side, here, right here, right here. And then uh, what he does, he cats, like on the end of the, of the month, oh, he will cats like about at least 15 uh, car drivers to give them a ticket. That's like about $500 ticket for speeding. Depending on how uh, how many speeding tickets you have, so I was at the driving range on Tuckett's Creek, and I observed him. Oh my! There's two of them actually. Like they they get a lot of tickets. They give a lot of tickets, speeding tickets. <laughs> That's the best place to uh, to hang out, you know, for uh, motorcycle uh, cops. So uh, here I am in the valley. We are going home. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know what's the sensor on my dashboard. It's a symbol of a key. I don't know what it is for. Oh wow. I've never seen that before. Probably I'm gonna have it checked, you know, when I go home after lunch. To uh, what do you call it? To uh, uh, to Honda. It's close to our place, only like three minutes. From our place, I'm gonna have to check them. Yeah, it's the key. I think it's the uh, in, uh, what is, uh, automatic start button. Yeah, it says there the key, and then it has a, um, a question mark. I don't think the uh, it will not recognize my key. Yeah, I have a remote remote uh, start. Oh my. But anyway. Oh yeah, I have to.
to water my plants too. Shit. Mm. Alright, I hope you like my video.